Looking live at the Chase Center, home of the Warriors in San Francisco, seemed like a very ambitious plan. Allow fans in the stands for the beginning of the upcoming season, scheduled to start December 22nd. The Warriors hope to do it by testing every person who entered the arena before each game. New at 5, KPI X5's Andrea Borba live in the city to tell us why city leaders stopped the team's fast break attempt to return to near normal basketball. Andrea? Well, Alan, at this point, it doesn't look like this plaza behind me at Chase Center is going to be full with fans at any time, even with that season starting right before Christmas this year. In fact, the Warriors still have not played a full season here at Chase Center. It got shut down in mid March when the pandemic kicked off. They had revealed some plans to bring up to 9,000 fans inside during this upcoming basketball season. Here's how Warriors President Rick Welts described the plan for testing just last week. Everyone from our employees uh, to all the part-time workers to every fan will be tested for the coronavirus uh, with a quality test available within 48 hours of the event itself. Now, the health department rejected that idea, saying this in a letter, in the present circumstances, bringing thousands of individuals and households together, many of whom would travel and return from other counties, creates too much risk of widespread transmission in transit and while visiting San Francisco. In response, the warrior said, we believe the thorough, detailed and adaptive reopening plans we've been developing over the last eight months will help us accomplish our goal of welcoming our fans and staff back to Chase Center when the time is right. Of course, we've seen in some other states and in some other leagues, fans return to the stands. That does not seem to be in the cards at the moment for the Warriors here at the sparkling new Chase Center, where, of course, they still have not played a full season.